Hey guys, today is episode 9 of my DIY Hair Man series. Today we're using Greek yogurt, avocado, and aloe vera. So the first thing I'm going to prepare is the aloe vera plant. I'm just using one fresh aloe vera plant. And a lot of people have been asking where can they find this. You can find this in your grocery store's produce section or a produce truck or a produce store. Anywhere that sells produce and fresh plants or fresh veggies. So to cut my aloe vera plant, I like to cut it in half, then split that half in half, and then um, gut out the meat that way. And I feel like this is the most effective way to get the meat out of the aloe vera. And yeah, I feel, I feel like I get the most out of it. So here I can show you guys again. I cut along the sides to gut the plant. So I cut along the first side, scoop around the top, and then bring the knife down. And I'm using a steak knife if you wanted to know what type of knife I'm using. And then I just scoop underneath the meat just to get it all out so that it comes out all as one. And I don't have to uh, waste any of it. So yeah, this is one way that I found uh, that, this is one great way that I found to scoop out the aloe vera plant. So you want to continue to do that. I just did the bottom half of the aloe vera plant and now I'm going to go ahead and gut out the top half of the aloe vera plant. This half is usually smaller than the other half because of how it grows. So you just gut out as much as you can and try to scrape the side, try to scrape the sides to get out all of the meat. And once you're done with that, you're gonna move on to get some avocados. For this mess, I am using four avocados. And when you're scooping out the avocados, you wanna make sure that there's no brown spots. Um, so here you'll see, I'm gonna cut open one just to show you guys that there are some brown spots. So the brown spots I usually leave out and I only take the green slash yellowish parts. So to cut the aloe vera, I just, I mean, cut the <laughs> avocado, I just cut it in half along the seed and then I spoon in the meat of the avocado and I put the shell and the seed in a garbage bag so it can be in the garbage. So yeah, um, avocado is very moisturizing to the hair. It's one of my favorite ingredients for DIY. And most of the time you get all of the, or most of the avocado meat when we strain it. And you guys will see that. So after that, uh, we have those two ingredients. So now we just need the last one, which is Greek yogurt. This is Greek plain, non-flavor, all that. It's just plain Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna pour that into the container so that everything can be blended together in one container. So I'm going to just clean up my area a little bit and then get out the Nutribullet. And all I have to do is press on the uh, container to the Nutribullet and it just blends. So um, I give a thumbs up because this is the first time one of the mash just blended right away. Some of them they get stuck and I have to add water, but this one was a good one. So now I'm getting out a nut milk bag strainer and this is a strainer that has very fine holes and this is a great uh, option to use whenever you strain your hair mask. You wanna strain your hair mask because of those three ingredients, they could cause flakes or clumps in your hair that would be hard to get out after you rinsed out your hair. So you wanna strain it. So I'm going to just close up the bag and squeeze the bag until I got out as much of the mess that I could. And you can see here, a lot of it's gonna come through and it's only gonna be a little bit left. And with that little bit, I usually rinse it out in the sink and I put the rest in the garbage bag. And um, cleaning this bag is really easy. You just rinse it with warm water and everything usually comes off the bag, nothing stays. It's really easy. To to clean and when you buy it it's from amazon you when you buy it it comes with two in a pack so you get a good deal it's like six dollars okay so now i'm going to take the mask and pour it into the applicator bottle and i believe i made two bottles out of this mask easily pour the mask into a applicator bottle make sure you string your mask into a bowl that has a pouring spout and that'll make it easier to pour into the bottles. 
So those two bottles are done. So now moving on to the bathroom to shampoo my hair. This is a hair mask. So all the hair masks that I've made are hair masks to use after you shampoo and they replace your deep conditioner slash conditioner. So that's why I'm shampooing my hair. Um, I'm just using a clarifying shampoo that was sent to me that smells really good and I love it. So yeah, if you want to check it out, I'll link the shampoo I used down below. So after that, I'm going to rinse out my shampoo with warm water and then I'm going to move on to applying the hair mask. So here's my hair after shampooing. I'm going to section it up up front in two sections. The back I'm going to work on first and I'm going to spray it with water just so it doesn't dry out just to give it something while um, I make my way around the back of my head. So I'm going to just apply it directly to my roots and smooth it down my shafts and ends. I apply all my hair masks to my root shafts and ends because my roots need to be moisturized and that nutrients, my strands need to be moisturized and my ends need to be moisturized. So I don't skip any of the three. So I just smooth it on and I do not use a detangling brush because I feel like using a detangling brush while my hair is uh, being deep condition that's what you want to call it while it's being treated will tear it off and also will um, cause more frizz so I've seen that if I don't brush my hair while I'm deep conditioning my hair does not become as frizzy as it would if I did so that's why I use this technique. I just smooth on the hair mask using the prayer method. And the prayer method is just smoothing it onto your hair with two hands instead of one because both hands are warm and it helps the hair cuticles soak in the nutrients and the whatever you're putting into the hair from the mask. It helps it soak in the mask. So yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, avocado is very moisturizing to the hair and it's also good for you to eat. Um, it's very moisturizing. Like in every mask that I've used, it was so, my hair was so soft afterwards. Aloe vera is just like water, only it has nutrients within it. So that's why I love using that one as well. A Greek yogurt brings the protein, so it helps strengthen the hair and yeah so this is considered a light protein mask or light protein treatment and i am low porosity if you're low porosity you can try this too um and my hair felt so good afterwards guys ready so it's frizz free so i rinsed this out after letting it sit for 10 more minutes well 10 minutes and then i rinsed it out with warm water and these are the results remember when my bangs were up here back in january I post DIY hair masks every Monday. Catch up on the prior episodes in the playlist. Check out some watch and go videos if you like. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.